Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jobber Radio, and we are talking about the Jobber Radio Prediction League. First of all, if you don't know what that is and somehow you stumbled across this video, you need to check it out. Go to jobberradio.com, hover over, join the Prediction League, click that, and then you're going to be able to go in, sign up, and take part in predicting pay-per-views. We do WWE, NXT, Impact Wrestling, that's what it's called of the recording of this video, and Ring of Honor, and Impact and Ring of Honor are treated kind of like house shows. You don't have to show up, and we're kind of going to talk about one of those right here, right now. We had JRPL Bound for Glory 2017. We're going to go over the results real quick before we talk about the Mac Daddy of them all. We're talking Survivor Series, our second biggest show of 2017. Um, that's because we started after... Uh, the Royal Rumble in WrestleMania. So here we go. Clicking on the Bound for Glory results. Let's go over this. Starting with the main event. Myself, Bomber, got the win over J. Scott, Ash, and Gords. Via points, nobody got five matches in a row correct. It came close, but nobody did. It was the Ultimate X match. Um, yeah, uh, we, ho a lot of people hung out in a voice chat on our discord channel. Shout out to that, by the way, you need to sign up for our discord. There is a link. If you go to our, uh, there it is right there. If you go to our, our news page, there's going to be a bunch of articles and it's going to be our, uh, Java radio discord channel. Go in there. You can uh, chat with us and sign up. It's fun. Anyway, uh, a lot of us were watching the show while, while we were talking and stuff and wouldn't you know it. I came down and got the win at the very last second. Alberto uh, Rio came in, and I needed Eli Drake to get the win p via pinfall, and he did. And I snuck out a victory by one point over Jay Scott, um, and then Ash and Gorge were also in there. Um, but yeah, this was pretty much the main event on house shows. There a lot of matches. There's no real rhyme or reason to it, since it's impact wrestling they're known for their ultimate x match so i said you know what how about we just throw in four guys that are kind of in the mid card to upper card that haven't been in a main event yet and myself would be one of them and there we go i ended up getting the win so good match there and then moving on the jrpl world champion fought crimson cyborg in a one-on-one -on -one match no title on the line here just a regular uh singles match where john picked up the eight point victory 19 to 11 over Crimson Cyborg. So still a little bit of feuding going on, but to, right as we're leading a Survivor Series, which we're going to talk about, between the Solution and the Regulators. And then here we go. Speaking of the Solution, the JRPL Tag Team Champions, the Warden and Beer Me Jesus, got the victory over the Canadians. Impact Wrestling was in Canada, guys, and somehow Lee and Scott lost clean in the middle of the ring 34 to 24, a 10 point uh, victory for the solution here. Um, the Outsiders, yeah, no titles on the line. So this was kind of all about bragging rights. And the Outsiders would have made a huge jump up the uh, the tag team ladder if they got the win here. But unfortunately, the Ward and Barry Jesus are just uh, almost unstoppable at this point. It's going to take a lot to beat them. And who knows, they might, they might get beat coming up at war games which is uh right before survivor series with their titles on the line but moving on we had a kind of a grudge match these guys i believe it was bastion and he wanted to face otis since they their colleges are rivals or something like that um sure that's the beauty about um house shows guys you can just ask me just post on twitter uh message us at jobber radio say hey i would like to face so and so and boom we'll set the match up on house shows house shows Guys, they're all for fun. They're all for uh, achievements, um, points, uh, get your record up, getting all this kind of stuff. There's no real stories going on. Every once in a while, I'll throw some in there, but a lot of the matches are kind of random. But as you'll see, if you if you read the re uh, right up here, the little I I like how I was gonna say the short one, but this is like way longer than we started out before. But anyway, the main shows are a lot longer, but. There's some there's some story elements in there, which we will talk about here coming up. But Otis and Bastion, um, Otis got the surprise victory over Bastion, which, you know, it is a TNA show. It is an Impact Wrestling show, so upsets happen. Um, and uh, speaking of the little write-up, we had a lot of little shenanigans going on during this tag team match that I actually forgot to mention. Now, if you go down and read, let's see, where is it at? 
here we go. This is pretty much where we talk about the Tag Team Championship Classic, which will start in December. We're going to have eight teams come in and all fight to get uh, what the, the championship, that Tag Team Championship Classic 2017 winners, basically, is what that's going to be. And yeah, I think it's 2017. God damn, guys, I don't know. It, go read the go read the write up. I don't know because 2018. That's right because it's going to be a couple months long, so it's going to be called the 2018 Classic. So you know what? Leave me alone. I'm trying to get this shit put together right now. Um, but anyway, we had the formation of a couple uh, attack teams here. We got the uh, where is it? I'm trying to. Leave. I forgot how the the. Okay, here we go. We got the. Uh, the Eloquent Enigmas, uh, with the official name of Jonathan C.T. Martin Injunction, they finally came up with a tag team name. The Eloquent Enigmas is their tag team name, but where is it? I'm kind of I'm trying to look. Suddenly, uh, super kick. Oh yeah, Hilo, uh, Hilo. God damn his fucking name. His fucking name. Hilo Sheen Moses. Um, and Bionic Knee, where is he at on here? Bionic Knee formed a tag team, came out and attacked everybody else. So we had a brand new tag team form at this house show, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And no surprise, they will be added to the, uh, to the tag team championship classic and they will be the seventh team. So we still have one team kind of out there floating around with a bunch of question marks. Who is it going to be? We will see. But anyway, moving on down the card, we had Super Hippo. I gave CM Carlito a match against the top block champion. You know, he's been on the rise coming up. So I said, you know what? Boom, let's get this guy. He's been at the bottom of the card. Let's get him a big high profile match, even though it is a house show. And unfortunately, he still he still came up short. Super Hippo was another guy who's just he's he's just he's just unstoppable, guys. There's no other way to put it. He's unstoppable. But moving on, another solution member got a win here. Woody defeated TB666 in a hardcore match with a score of two points to negative six. Both of these guys high up on the card, strong match here. I just they haven't fought each other yet. Even though Woody was talking uh, talking a little trash on Twitter, saying, "Hey, who is TB666?" Which I obviously is a joke because he is a high guy, uh, pretty high on the card. So. Uh, moving on down, this match was another match that was requested by, I don't know, I don't remember who it was, it may have been the GMSG, I don't remember, don't recall, but another little grudge match that these guys just wanted to throw in there and go one-on-one, and the JRPL Ultraviolet Champion, Captain Charisma, defeated the GMSG 22-11. to Cam Popplestone got another house show win, still undefeated on house shows, he defeated the Tagaby, or just Tagaby, 23-16. And one of the highest actual um, scores on the show, I think the highest was the Green Machine, yeah, who we'll get to in a minute. But, yeah, Cam Popplestone, he keeps calling everybody out. He is undefeated in house shows. He calls himself the, the unofficial house show champion. So we're going to see if anybody can finally topple him uh, one day. Your next chance will be in December, which will be a Ring of Honor show. So good luck. Uh, Buck N5 defeated Junction. Man, Junction and... As you'll see, uh, Jonathan C.T. Martin just can't – singles, they can't get wins as singles. Maybe things are going to change when they start teaming up, which they have officially joined teams, but they have yet to have their first tag team match. Then the Green Machine, who's been on a hot streak, defeated Wookie with the highest score of the night, 26-14. to 14. And then we had the match of the night. Spring Tigress defeated Vitamin Yes – 23 to 22. Both of these guys were on their A game. Spring Trigger, she came in. I believe this was her first house show appearance too. So she's probably undefeated at house show uh, matches as well. You know what? Maybe we'll have a little Spring Tigress versus Camp Popplestone action. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Who knows what's going to happen come December on the, uh, the Ring of Honor house show. But anyway, uh, match of the night. Both of these guys put up good numbers here. Uh, 23-22 there. And then we had Tom go to a no contest, 21-21, with Hito Sheen Moses. And, yeah, um, the, I, this says defeats. You know what? I have to fix that. That is not a defeat. I don't know why that graphic. I just Actually, I just forgot to change that. But just ignore that for right now in this video. That was a no contest. Nobody got the win there. Uh, Banksy got the win over Jonathan C.T. Martin, which is what, which is what I kind of just talked about. Can't get the singles wins lately besides when Junction came out and helped 
Jonathan defeat um, Redhead12 who suffered that injury. You can read that in the other videos or the write-ups. Then Breaker got the win over. The only solution member to get the loss is Mr. Money in the Bank here. Tino, who's been absolutely lights out, gets a, a six-point defeat here from the newbie, Breaker, who now is 2-0. He's, he's won on a, a WWE show, and he's now won on a house show. So he's officially 2-0 on his career. That's pretty cool. Um, and then the newbies. We had two brand new members uh, who joined our Discord channel and decided, you know what? It's about time I get involved in the JRPL. We got, oh, my God. I, I knew uh, she was in the chat earlier I, w during the show. Cami Cat, Kami Cat. I know, oh, my man. I knew I was going to fuck it up. I even said I was going to fuck it up, I think. I think it's. Cami Cat. Oh, man, it's probably Kami Cat. I'm so sorry. I knew I was going to mess it up, and I did. Uh, got the victory over Bionic Knee. What a, def a decisive victory here. 20 to 6. Huge win over Bionic Knee here. And then Jay. All right, here we go. Jay Diano. Jay Diano got the win over Jonathan. Or Jonathan. Uh, 3J Platinum, 19 to 15. And 3J Platinum is actually going to be challenging for the world championship at our very next show, NXT TakeOver. So that was a quick little recap, not so quick, I guess, of the house show. Um, a couple of achievements are unlo were unlocked at the show. Highest possible score was 34, and the highest score was 26. So a lot of people, there was a lot of wrong matches, and hey, it's it's Impact Wrestling. It, it's going to happen. But go through if you haven't already. Read the write-up. It's it's pretty short. It's pretty fun. And it does just a little bit. It adds a little bit uh, a story as we go into the biggest show, the second biggest show of 2017, which is what we are about to talk about right now. All right. JRPL events. We already talked about War Games. If you haven't seen that, I did a card breakdown. It's on the YouTube channel already. Go check it out, and you'll hear the story behind all these title matches. So this is the main event. This is what we're here for right now, guys. Survivor Series, the night after War Games. We're talking November 19th. I think I got one, two, three. I haven't updated all of this as the recording of this video. I just need to add the shield match and fill in these question marks because we now know a lot of the uh, people on the teams. But anyway, that's the card right there. There should be eight total matches. Here is the big, uh, wow. We have three Survivor Series rules matches, guys. The Solution versus the Regulators. This is going to be the main event. Now, this is Team Regulators. Don't get this confused. There's only There are only three members of the Regulators. It's Crimson Cyborg, Captain Charisma, and 3J Platinum. They recruited Bastion and Cam Popplestone to join their effort against the... I don't know how else to say it, guys. The dominant solution. Who is, if you get a win over the solution, you did something right, okay? Because these guys are on top of their game. They talk about the shows. They go in there and they figure out, oh, what are we going to do? Who's going to win this? That's kind of their secret. It's not that big of a secret, but they actually talk things out. So I highly suggest that for anybody who wants to be a successful group, unit, stable, whatever. Uh, especially for the tag teams. If you guys, if you guys want to be a successful tag team, get on the same page. That's what uh, the Warden and Beer Me Jesus are doing. That's how they're such a dominant tag team. But as a as a full unit, these guys are almost unstoppable. So they are the favorites coming into this main event. But so many matches have built up to this big climax. This is the climax between the solution and the regulators, guys. Everything is built up to this. There's been title changes between the two. There's been all kinds of things. If you've been keeping up with everything, you know how big this match is, and it is going to go down in the main event at Survivor Series. It's You know what? I say this is, this is probably bigger than the main event that took place at uh, SummerSlam, which was the first ever world title match. So I'm just going to say, you guys... You need to get invested in this big match here. And then moving on to the next match. This is a lot of fun here. This was nothing but fun. This is Jabba Radio, myself, Lee and Scott, Rab and Matt Zion going up against the ladies of the JRPL. If you listen to our podcast, listen to some of our other stuff. Hey, it's time for us to beat up on some women. Okay, that's that's the joke. That's the the whole thing that's behind this. There's It's all in good fun, obviously. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see what Crofty, Spring Tigress, Buck N5, Legit Boss 2K, and, oh, man, there it is. Kami Cat, Kami Cat. I'm going to say both for right now until I officially figure out what it is. But, 
um, the brand, the newcomer here teaming up with, we've got a former champion. We have a number one contender right now and legit boss and buck and five who's, who has been with the JRPL since the very beginning going against, uh, me and a couple jobbers, uh, they got my back. So we're, we'll see who, how that goes down. And you know what? If you didn't notice, there is a achievement for get a victory over every member of Jabba Radio. I think the, I don't know the name of the achievement, but it's just like called Jabba Radio or something. So a win from the ladies of JRPL are going to score a victory over five of the six members of Jabba Radio. Obviously, Peanut is later on down the card, so they still would have to get a win over him. But this would be a huge step towards getting that achievement. So just a little, just a little fun fact throw in there for that match. And then we got Team UK versus Team USA. I wanted to add another Survivor Series match in there, so I went and looked at everybody's uh, hometown and where everybody's JRPL characters are from, and there were, I noticed there were five people from the UK, and you know what? If somebody knows show has already got it figured out, we're going to bring in somebody from a different country. I won't say who yet, but if somebody knows shows, which I hope they don't, the only risk that I feel of no showing is going to be Frosty, who's brand new. They only showed up on one show. So same with Breaker. Breaker did show up on two shows, but they debuted at the same time. So I wanted to put two newcomers in a uh, Survivor Series match like this on opposing teams. So anyway, Mod Step is the leader of Team UK with Wookie, Tom, Banksy, and Frosty at his back, while Team USA is led by Tagaby with Broken Nerd, CM Carlito, the newcomer Breaker, and Cross. So... I'm really looking forward to this match. This is, I guess, a lot of guys that are kind of not high up on the card. I know Mod Step is, Tagaby is pretty high up, and everybody else is trying to climb their way up. So this should be a good Survivor Series match. I, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun stuff. So here is the next match on the card. The only title on the line, the Top Lock Championship, which is Super Hippo versus Question Marks. Now, if you go back and watch the other video about War Games, you'll find out who the opponent's going to be. I'll tell you super quick. Um, it could be a singles match. It could be a triple threat match. If Super Hippo defeats Victory Green at War Games in this non-title match, Victory Green will not be included at Survivor Series. If Victory Green wins at War Games, he will be included in in this title match at Survivor Series. The next little implication here, Ojai Joey versus the Green Machine. The winner of that will get a match against Super Hippo no matter what. This is officially, I mean, unofficially, officially, whatever you want to call it. This is the number one contenders match, pretty much. The winner of this will get Super Hippo. So it could be Super Hippo versus one of these two, or it could be Super Hippo versus one of these two and Victory Green. So we're not going to know. Super Hippo is not going to know his opponent or opponents until War Games is over. So you talk about a disadvantage. Uh, Super Hippo does not know who he's actually going to face coming into Survivor Series. Pretty big deal there. All right, going down the card, Jut Jut 9, who, who told me he wasn't going to show up at a couple shows. I don't even know if he's going to be at the NXT show. We'll see. But he should be at Survivor Series. He still has not got that revenge match for the world championship where it was a no contest. So he's looking to make a statement. Meanwhile, we got TB666, who is right there near the top of the card as well. So a really big uh, singles match between these two. And then we got Gords versus Otis, two guys that are, are kind of mid card, again, trying to break into the upper card. So we're going to see what they can do there. And then we got Bionic Knee versus the GMSG. Both of these mem uh, wrestlers are going to be in the Tag Team Championship Classic uh, come December. So we're going to see who gets a singles win between the two. Ash, who is secretly, not secretly, I should say, quietly been working his way back up the card. He's been getting a lot of wins lately, and he's going to be going against Jay Scott. Both of these guys were in that Ultimate X match with myself at Bound for Glory. But again, that doesn't really count towards any pushes and stuff. So both of them losing that match does not affect their big, uh, I guess, it's not really a push, but their rank on the card, I guess you could say, because nobody's getting really pushed in the JRPL. You, you, you win matches, you go up the card. That's pretty much it. There's no real, like, pushes. But anyway, Vitamin Yes, who, the only reason he is on this, the main card, because he has been really under the radar, getting a lot of losses lately, but he got a massive upset win over Jut Jut 9 at TLC. So that earned him a match on the card against Jonathan C.T. Martin. We're going to see 
if he can finally get another win as a singles competitor before we go into the big December t- uh, tag team tournament. Same with Junction. He's going against Accelerator 27. Both of these guys on the lower card trying to work their way up into the main show. But hey, since there's a bunch of people in these other matches, these guys are going to land on the mid card. Not saying they're crap. I'm just saying, hey, they're doing their best working their way up. So right now, the kickoff matches, we got the Shockmaster versus Joe Blow. We're talking, this is going to be, I don't know. I think this is going to be slugfest. Joe Blow has basically been under the radar and one of those under the radar guys who I think he put up the highest score at either TLC or at Hell in a Cell, one or the other. But I, I'm, he's no-showed a couple of times, uh, once or twice, and he posts his picks super late. So he always, always scares me and makes it hard to work the way up the card, which is kind of what I'm talking about when you no-show. When you no-show, I'm afraid to put you in high-ranked matches, which is kind of like getting that, uh, I keep saying push, but like getting that D push, getting knocked back down. Then the Salami Slinger going against Peanut. I was told from the Shockmaster that the Salami Slinger will appear again at Survivor Series, which if you didn't know, the Salami Slinger is Shockmaster's girlfriend. And that means Peanut is going against a female as well, which, you know, Jabba Radio, they're beating up on the ladies. So we're going to see if Peanut can do the same thing in singles action. We can't do a six on six. Because, you know, rules. But Peanut is with us in spirit on beating down the ladies of the JRPL. We're going to see if he can do it. He's probably going to get his ass beat, let's be honest. But uh, we got the Finn versus Peanut is my bitch. Both of these guys, you know, trying to get on up there. Uh, The Finn, not too much success early on in his career. He's still got a long way to go, still fresh. And Peanut is my bitch. He's been around since the beginning. We're going to see if he can work his way up the card. My buddy Alaska Brown going against Hilo Sheen Moses. And, you know, I'm just going to say Alaska Brown, I'm waiting for you to win. You got to start winning matches, my friend. We're going to see if you can do it here. And what in the hell? Why is the Finn booked twice? I don't know. I guess I didn't edit this. Uh, Zozo, who's another newcomer. That is, uh, I believe. Oh, look, uh, on our Discord, if you look on the website, we have a little thing that shows who's online. That is actually Zoe on um, on Discord. She's new to the uh, JRPL as well. JRPL as well. But um, not going against Finn. I'll tell you that right now. Finn's not going to have two matches on the show like that. Wouldn't do that to you. But I don't know who Zozo's going to face. I might as well just throw Zozo down here and find out what's going on. Who knows? If Victory Green loses in that match against uh, Super Hippo, maybe it'll be uh, Victory Green versus Zozo. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, But, yeah, guys, that is the card. We're going to see what happens come Survivor Series. There's a lot of big matches. We have one title match. We have the climax of the solution Versus the regulators. These guys have been going at it almost since the very single beginning of the JRPL. So we've been, when did we start? In May, I think. I think it was May. May, June, July, August, September, October. Seven months almost of buildup for this match, guys. This is how you build up a show. This is how you build up a feud right here. Uh, WWE, take notes, goddammit. Um, but no, seriously, uh, it, it should be a really good show. There's a lot of cool matches, and I think this is going to be one of our funnest shows of the year because with the Survivor Series, anything can happen. Imagine the bonus points. There's going to be a million bonus points for these Survivor Series matches, so heads up on that. I hope you look forward to that. Now, that's the card breakdown. I went over um, Bound for Glory, so now I want to talk about uh, something else that is going to be coming up down the road. Um, in January, we're talking the Royal Rumble, the JRPL Royal Rumble. 30 members will step into the ring and only one is going to walk out with a shot at JRPL's first ever WrestleMania. So uh, polling time, guys. I need you guys to sound off in the comment section below and let me know what your opinions are. Yes, we already talked about I'm going to do a live drawing on Java Radio's Twitch account, which Go give us a follow on Twitch if you can. Just search Jabber Radio. I don't really stream that much, so, I mean, don't expect a whole lot of streams out of that. Just heads up. I'll let everybody know before I do stream. But anyway, um, yes. So, uh, this is what I want to talk about. The 30-man rumble. I am going to be doing the drawing. But here's the question. When I pull the names out, do you still want to be surprised by the actual entrant uh, numbers? Meaning, um, 
when I pull out the first name and just say, for example, say it's myself, say, say I draw a bomber and it's like the first name out. Do you, should that be like, he's the first entrant. He's going to come out first in the rumble. Or do you want to say, okay, bomber is an entrant in the rumble. And then pull out the next name. Say it's Matt Zion. Say, all right, Matt Zion is the entrant in the rumble. Or should we say, Hey, that's the second entrant in the entrant entrant in the rumble. And there won't, the reason I'm asking is because there won't be any mystery behind the entrance and there won't be any like kind of intrigue at the end. Um, when we, uh, when we reveal like how everything goes down or should I, we just remove all mystery, remove all, um, anticipation, I guess, whatever you want to call it and just say, boom, this is entrant one through 30 and everybody knows in stone already who's going to come out where and do what? I mean, this is really up to you guys. I don't care either way. I just want to do, uh, want to have put on like a good show for everybody. So, uh, what do you guys think will be more fun? I, like I said, I'm down for either one. I can do both. I can either draw 30 names and say, this is where everybody's coming out or just draw 30 names and say, these are going to be the 30 people in the rumble and still do it as a, like a mystery. Um, you know what I mean? So that's what I want you guys to comment on in the comment section below. What would you like to see? Do you want the mystery element where who knows who's going to come out where and find out later on, like during the show or right after the show, either one, or do you want to know, boom, right off the bat, no mystery involved. This is who comes out first. This is who comes out last. So let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think will be the funnest thing, what will be the most entertaining thing, or just what will be the most fair thing. Because let's be honest, no joke, the, the, the fairest of them is to let everybody know who comes out where, but that could not be as fun, if you know what I'm saying. So that's about it, guys. Um, guys, this is it. Second biggest show of 2017 Survivor Series. And right before it, we got three title matches on the line at War Games. Scroll down to the homepage. You can follow along with all the stuff right here. Click on the events page. That's going to be where all the cards are. And there's your Bound for Glory results. There's all your stuff. This is our website. If you're brand new, sign up, guys. It is a lot of fun. Check it out. If you if you lasted this long, I would assume you're interested. But uh, that's all I got, guys. This is Bound for Glory. Oh, wow. I just I, I was looking at that as I said it. I was looking at this little uh, image right here. Uh, this is Survivor Series, guys. I hope you enjoy. Let's uh, let's get in Discord. Let's do some chats. Now, I won't be there for the actual show. Matt Zion may be streaming. I will not, but I will be there probably the next night, or I'll probably be there typing. I won't be in voice chat. Feel free. You guys want to jump in there like you did at TLC? Everybody, jump in Discord, hop in the voice chat, have some fun. Chat it up while you watch the show. Uh, I know a lot of people had fun at the last one. Um, I have some friends over, some company over, so I won't be able to do it myself, but I will probably hop in on my phone on the actual uh, chat. So there you go. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the best one. Best of luck, everybody, at Survivor Series.